Today, we're gonna be making the Android lander ship from Raised by Wolves. This is Marcus Laporte. For the last 17 years, Marcus has been working in the film industry as a production designer, art director, and prop fabricator. We're gonna try something totally different. I'm dropping kits off to friends around town, then walking them through a build from the HBO Max show Raised by Wolves. This is Master and Apprentice Prop Drops, Raised by Wolves. So welcome to Master and Apprentice Prop Drops. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I've gathered up all the materials and tools needed to do a project at home. And today we're here with Mr. Adam Ellis. How the heck are you? I'm excited to be back, man. We haven't made a prop together in so long, even though we're not physically together. I'm happy to be here. Me too. I'm glad to see you virtually. We're gonna build a cool thing today. We're gonna do an Android lander ship from Raised by Wolves. Um, it's a fairly simple shape. I get uh, Flight of the Navigator vibes off this and I'm not complaining. It's one of my favorite childhood movies. Yeah, it's got a really, a really sort of like nice chrome, shiny, reflective finish. We're going to be sculpting a block of urethane foam into the shape we need. We're gonna be doing some hard coating with some plaster of Paris. Uh, we'll do a little bit of sanding, we'll do some painting, uh, and some clear coating, that kind of thing. Does this sound, sound good? Sounds great. From visionary filmmaker Ridley Scott in his US television directorial debut comes Raised by Wolves, an HBO Max original. So this week we're building a replica of the Android lander ship. It looks simple, but it's gonna be tough to hit all the nuances of this geometric shape. Plus, it's got a highly reflective finish, so we have that to look forward to. So this build is based off concept art from the show, as well as Ridley Scott's personal storyboards, which is pretty amazing to get to work off of. All right, well, you gave me a box full of stuff, uh, many tools and many materials. Where do we start? So the very first thing we're gonna do is pull out this particular piece of paper. It should have a top, bottom, side views, back views, front views, stuff like that. Oh, I got it. We're gonna cut out these individual pieces and these are gonna act as templates for us to put on the foam and trace on there. Okay, well, let's start doing that. All right, Marcus, I have finished cutting out all the pieces. I have front, side, back, and top done. What is our next step? Now we'll transfer the top and side templates onto our block of foam. This will help us mark out the rough shape of the ship and give us a loose guide for when we're carving away the excess foam. You should have a coping saw in there. Just take your time and trim the edges off of your piece. And to be safe, you can always make your cuts a little wide now, as we'll have plenty of time to fine tune things later. Since I'm in the shop, I'm going to trim my foam using the bandsaw. So, Adam, you can kind of see, I've put some additional lines on this to kind of understand where we're at now that you've got the basic blocky shape. Yep, yep, I see it. You don't have to do this. It's really more of a guide so that if you feel like you're gonna get out of proportion, you've got something to reference. But the idea is that all this material that's been marked is gonna get removed. Okay. So the next step for us is to take and use the sanding block. Got it. So we're gonna remove the material on the foam and do some sanding and do some sculpting and shaping. Sounds great. Okay, so Marcus, I was looking at my reference and I had not enough of a slope going down here and then I have too much of a slope now. Uh, I can't put the phone back. Uh, we can't put the phone back. This is a all subtractive process um, and you have to kind of be gentle and follow those lines and know when to stop. Yeah, I got a little carried away there. But, I mean, that's okay. It just means the shape will be a little, a little different than the reference, but it's still gonna make a cool spaceship. So on the front of this ship, there's a, a black part that looks like a grill. It's a little more proud than the front of the ship, but it also has a, like a sort of an indention around it. How do you, how are we going to achieve that with this foam? So uh, let's identify this sculpting tool. I'm gonna hold this up, make sure it's the right one. That's it. So first, start by drawing a line using this tool to make the initial deepest recession. And then you're going to fold a piece of sandpaper in half and you're going to sand along the outside edge to meet kind of a, a fault in there. This design has a lot of subtle details that we need to dial in from the grill, the tops design, the sloping curves, and more. And this is definitely not the, the, the time to rush. You know, this is something that you wanna be taking your time with. I also carved out a little section on the bottom side for mounting this to our base. This will help us out for the paint step and make for a nice display option. Okay, so we're gonna do the hard coating with Plaster of Paris. Because this foam is so porous, I'm gonna massage the dry powder all over the surface and then just mist it with water. 
So instead of mixing plaster as a paste that we're gonna have to clean up later, we can just add just enough to fill all these little holes and there'll be less cleanup afterwards because there won't be any plaster buildup to remove. That seems like a reasonable tip. And then you're gonna come back with the little sculpting tool and kind of just kind of clean out all those recessions like the one on top and at the back and the front. I gotta say, uh, for some reason, this stuff feels nice to apply. It's very smooth. Yeah, it's like nice and flat and smooth. It's good stuff. And I would say once you get it all on here, then put it back on your stand. Done. And then we're just gonna mist it with the spray bottle. All right, Marcus, I'm sprayed down. I think I'm uh, ready to let dry. So we're gonna be using a two-part urethane clear coat. The reason we are doing this is because mm -hmm. the shinier and more glass-like your surface is, the better the chrome paint is going to look. If we painted chrome on a matte finish, it would just kind of look gray. So I would say just work in short, quick bursts and misting it on from about 12 inches away, kind of like we always do with spray paint. Sounds good, man. All right, I'll see you soon. While you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and paint mine black. It's not completely necessary, but it is helpful when we do a chrome finish so that the chrome doesn't have to be laid on as thick to really show shiny. All right, Adam, we are done painting. Why don't we take a look? Yeah, man. Yeah, yours looks great, dude. It's fantastic. Look at that thing. I think you did a great job with that sculpt, man. That looks fantastic. Oh, thank you. It's very symmetrical. Okay, Adam, let's see yours. Are you, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, what sound does the spaceship make in the show? <laughs> All right, here it comes. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good, man. I like it. Landon. Actually, yours looks shinier than mine. I'm impressed. You've got the shape pretty much nailed down. You've got the front, it's got that little, little ring and it's all blacked in. I don't think the sculpting part is the worst part about it. I think the texture and bubbling is. So I, I think in the four to six hours that we managed to do all of this, I think we did pretty good. It looks fine. Well, I appreciate you being on with us today. I had a good time. And yeah, man. it was good to virtually see you. Happy we got to make something together. I know. Thank you so much for watching Master and Apprentice Prop Drops. And if you made an Android lander ship, send us some pictures. We want to see it. And I wanted to say thanks to HBO Max for sponsoring this episode. Make sure to check out Raised by Wolves, out now, only on HBO Max. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Oh, and check out some of these other videos.